The Secret of the Rosary by St. Louis de Montfort. 37th Rose, a monastery reform. The Secret of the Rosary. A noble man who had several daughters entered one of them in a lax monastery where the nuns were very proud and thought of nothing else but worldly pleasures. The nun's confessor, on the other hand, was a zealous priest and had a great love for the Holy Rosary. Wishing to guide this nun into a better way of life, he ordered her to say the Rosary every day in honor of the Blessed Virgin while meditating on the life, passion, and glory of Jesus Christ. She joy joyously undertook to say the rosary, and little by little she grew to have a repugnance for the wayward habits of her sisters in religion. She developed a love for silence and prayer, and this in spite of the fact that the other despised the, and ridiculed her and called her fanatic. It was at this time that a holy priest who was making the visitation of the convent had a strange vision while he was making his meditation. He saw a nun in her room, wrapped in prayer, kneeling in front of a lady of breathless beauty who was surrounded by angels. The latter had flaming spears with which they repelled a crowd of devils who wanted to come in. These evil spirits then fled to the other nuns rooms under the guise of a vile annuals. By this vision, the priest be became aware of the lamentable state of the monastery. The state the monastery was in, and he was so upset that he thought he might almost die of grief. He immediately sent for the young, religious, and ex sorted her to persevere. As he pondered on the value of the rosary, he decided to try to reform the sisters by means of it. He bought a supply of beautiful rosaries and gave one to each nun, imploring them to say the rosary every day, even going so far as to promise them that if they would only say it faithfully, he would not try to force them to alter their lives. Wonderful and strange as it may seem, the nuns agreed to this pact and were glad to be given the rosaries and promised to say them. Little by little, they began to give up their empty and worldly pursuits, letting silence and recollection come into their lives. In less than a year, they all asked that the monastery be reformed, so the Holy Rosary worked for more changes in their hearts than the priest could have worked by exhorting and commanding them. So, friends, make sure that, make sure that you continue, you continue to pray your rosary. And also, if you have daughters and sons, give them a nice rosary. Give them a nice rosary and invite them to pray it. If there are college students, invite, tell them, you know, why don't you pray the rosary on your way to, to school? Why don't you pray another rosary when you come back? You can easily play to ro pray to rosaries. And if they say, oh, I'm too busy for that. I want to listen to my music. Well, then say, well, okay, on your way to school, pray one. And then on your way back, listen to your music and the more they begin to pray their own spirit is going to be asking for more more prayer and more rosaries that's my experience that's what i've seen in my life well there are always ways in our beautiful mother and our brother jesus they're there to help us so for the next video 
I will be doing the 30th, actually 38th rose, and it's a bishop's devotion. And it should be short. So I shall see you in the next video. Thank you for praying with me. And thank you for praying for my family. As I always pray for you and your families. May the Lord bless you and those who you love. And if this is helping you, would you mind sharing it with someone that might need a little reformation in their life? And we all have those loved ones that need a change of heart, that need a change of mind. We all have them because there is no perfect families. And the rosary is the best way to help those that might be feeling some type of sorrow or, you know, or that might be having a hard time. And also for those that are joyful, their joy will increase. For those that have a glorious life, their peace and prayer life will increase as they begin to pray a rosary. Thank you and may the Lord bless you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.